welcome back to my channel. It's Lizzie from Lizzie's Worlds of Gems. Um, today we're doing the Drill With Me Tuesday. I thought I was going to do another collab, but I guess Jen misunderstood me when I told her. Whatever. It is what it is. There will be an announcement for that later on in the week of when we pick the finalists. So from, so from now on, you will not see that painting again until I do the post review for it. I'm still not done it. I still got a little section left to do. And as soon as I've done this little section here, I will switch to that one for the rest of the day so I can get her done. Um, I think I got pretty, I got pretty far on this one. I'm quite excited. Um, I kind of want to get this one out as much as I can. So both whipping chats will be done with her this week. And then I got the Manny um, whip along. I'm going to do another whip and chat there. I figure I'm going to do three whip and chats from now on during this time of crisis because, you know, everybody needs to hear a voice once in a while, especially if they live alone. And why not listen to me gabber about who knows? Who knows what you get out of my mouth on a daily basis? <laughs> so I hope that's okay with everybody. But I'm working on my Incan store diamond painting. If anybody is new to the channel, I got this. It's a custom and it's going slow because it's a lot of color blocking and the drills are not popping or nothing, but they're not 100% perfectly straight as you can see in some places. So, but when you turn off the light, it looks amazing. Well, in some areas. When I try to use the multi-placer, you can tell because there's nothing to guide you on these. There's no grid. I don't know. But I'm liking it. I'm liking the way it's looking. But I'm going to turn the light back on because you know me. I'm blind as a bat. So... That is what I'm working on. I want to get this one done. But I gotta admit a little bit, I've been in a little bit of a funk where I haven't really wanted to diamond paint as much. And I stopped for a few days, a couple weeks ago. And then I, but I was feeling under the weather too. So that could have been a factor in it all. But I seem to be back in my groove and back into my diamond painting. Um, I feel like I've been working on the same projects forever now, but I'm getting close to the end of a few of them, meaning this one and my Easter collab. I want to get those out of the way so I can start New projects. Um, I'm almost done my mystery diamond painting too, as you saw yesterday. I'm actually filming this before I even film today's video, which I'm working on this on a Monday. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to say yet. So I shouldn't speak too, too far ahead. I been trying to do the checkerboard, but even with the checkerboard, they still kind of look crooked. But that's okay. It is what it is. Oh, I gotta put this back. I'm really liking the Patty Wax SS. That's all I use on my single placer now, and then I use the white wax in my multi placer which I prefer the white wax over the pink wax any day. So that's what 
I have been up to diamond painting wise. I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I think I might do my coat cart. We'll see. I might do a Timmy Arts because I've never done a Timmy's Arts on here. And I want to do one of my home funds or my just paint store paintings. I think I got some from there. Um, I actually got an email from Canada Post today that one of my China packages has reached Canada. And sure enough, it's Hooligan. I knew it would be Hooligan first because they always seem to have the best shipping. You know, people can talk bad about Hooligan and their popping drills and everything. But for some people on a budget, it's a good price. It's a good price and they're very fast. So, oh, I have that hooligan too, the round. I should do the hooligan square and then a hooligan round and then I should compare them. But they're both big pieces, so that will take me a while. <laughs> but maybe I should work on those ones next. I have the hooligan girl with the big eyes too. You know, you see a lot of girls with big eyes on my channel. I'm sorry, but I like them. It's my thing. I guess I have a thing. I have a thing for girls with big eyes. I do. I really, truly do. I have that one from Hooligan, and I want to do it. So bad, too. I, my sister, Helen, I told her that I have enough diamond paintings to last me through this virus. If it lasts more than a couple of years, then I might be a little bit messed up. But um, I see that. I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to pick my next color. Sorry about that. I see that. I was going to tell you this. I see that... Um, Dreamers Design has a BOGO sale going on right now. Well, it's not a BOGO sale, really. It's 50% off. So buy one and get the second one for 50% off. Not free. Or get the second one free or whatever. But they have that going on. But when I go on the website, the big nice paintings, like the Chuck Pinson ones, are $83 Canadian. And I'm like, do I really want to spend $83 on a Dreamer design? I've never had a Dreamer design. I really want one. I could buy one of the smaller ones for a little bit less. But half of them I don't really care for. So I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'd really like to get a Dreamer design. But in order not to pay shipping, you have to buy $150 worth Canadian or American, I was probably American, not Canadian, but all I know is that they're a little bit dear for me right now during what's going on in the world. I don't want to spend my extra money, especially not that much on Dreamer Design. I wanted to get some Diamond Art Club, but everything that I like in Diamond Art Club is sold out. I'm not sure what came out this week because I am not a ruby or diamond paint diamond member because because I can't <laughs> I can't afford to buy a lot of Diamond Art Club, but I do I do love Diamond Art Club and I do get them as a treat. To me, they're my treat paint paintings, like special treats. When I feel like I want a special treat of buying a painting, I'll get one. I've really wanted one, but the ones I want are all sold out. And I'm not just going to buy it to say that I bought one. I want to buy one that I'm going to like and I'm going to put up. So that's why I've been kind of like waiting and waiting to see if they restock their inventory. And maybe something will come out that I would really fancy. But the ones I want are not there. 
and I don't feel the need to purchase anything if it's not the ones that I want. So I've been kind of like, uh, and hawing about buying paintings right now because I really got to watch my pennies. I just wish I was rich. I wish I was rich and I could buy all the diamond paintings in the world. But I can't, unfortunately. I... love to buy paintings but I get to the certain point where I look and I'm like I don't like anything I see <laughs> like I don't know it just kind of has to like pop at me or something I don't know or I don't know I don't know what to think anymore honestly I've been just trying to plug away on the ones that I have in my stash. My stash isn't very big, but I still think my stash would last me a year because as you can see, I work on so many at once that I get boggled up. So yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I haven't been in contact with the Pink Raspberry in a few days. I'm not sure how they're doing. This virus has really put a damp in their business because they're not all allowed to be at the at the store at once. So that means only one person's there and trying to fulfill all the orders. I don't really know how she's doing it. But yeah, I asked her for a mystery diamond painting, but I said, you know, like no rush, just something that you have already weighed up and just reprint the canvas without a picture. So whether or not she has it done for me or not, I don't know. I asked for that about a week ago because I am getting close to the end of my mystery diamond painting and I really like doing them. I don't know about you guys, but I really like mystery diamond painting day. Um, I like to see something come to life, even though like right now, we kind of know what the picture looks like, but we still don't know what the picture looks like completed. You know what I mean? So yeah, excuse me, I think I burped on camera. I didn't mean to, I apologize. Other than that, life has been pretty good. I had actually Easter Sunday off because um, there was a electrical fire, I guess, at the plant on the Saturday night. And Sunday morning I woke up and I'm like, Tyler was taking a long time. I'm like, Tyler, are you coming to work? And he's like, oh, my alarm clock didn't go off. So he hurried up and got ready. And I'm like, well, I want to go to McDonald's to get a coffee because Timmy's isn't open till nine today. And we start at six in the morning. And I need a coffee to bring to work. So we ended up leaving. We went to McDonald's. We get to work and it's like pitch dark, like everywhere and the gates open. I'm like, huh, hmm, why is the gate open? And then when I get around the corner, I can see the cafeteria, like it's pitch dark. And I'm like, um, did the power go off on this side of town? Because we always have power. When everybody else loses power, we don't lose power. We just lose internet. And then I'm like, he's like, well, I'll go find out. Well, apparently there was a electrical wire fire the night before and they're waiting for the electric company to come and then we sat I sat on my car for about an hour and a half and then finally 
they pulled us in and said, oh, we'll just take your temperature and you guys can go home. There's nothing we can do today because they have to call an outside company and they're going to take two hours to get here. So we all got sent home on Easter Sunday, which was super nice. And I'm like, oh, let's hurry, Tyler, before they change their minds and make us go back. So no, we got to leave Easter Sunday. That was a treat. I was ecstatically happy about that. Didn't have to work. You know how much I love that. I must have changed colors and not realized it. See, when I get talking, I don't remember what I'm flipping doing. And why does that cross look brighter than the rest of the crosses? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's about what happened to me on Sunday. So I came home and I finished a square on my mystery diamond painting. So that's all done and over with. But then I took this one out and I started working on this one. So that's why I'm filming this before I film the other one because it's a lot of stuff to move. Just, just go with it guys. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow of what I'm saying. I'm all, I'm all crazy town. Being home, well, not like I went anywhere anyways, but still. You, I still went to the store, right? And the store is what is giving me major anxiety right now. I hate going to the store. There's lineups. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And I have to go today because Alyssa needs myrtle pads. If you guys don't know what myrtle pads, I think you guys understand what myrtle pads is. If you're a guy, I'm sorry. She needs, she needs myrtle pads. She'll kill me if she knows that I said that on camera. Hey, we're all women. We all have that. Well, I don't have it anymore, but that's a whole other story. So I have to go get her that and I have to go get some body wash, my oil valet. I love oil valet body wash. That's all I use. That's why my skin is so soft. <laughs> Just saying guys, that's my secret. That's my secret in hand cream. But of course, because we've been washing our hands so much, severe raw right here. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's getting better though. It's like getting all chappy and stuff. But yeah. So we're just going to do a little massage here for a minute. Now my hands are going to be super slippery. I've been trying to cream them so that because the washing them so much is really irritating. But then the cream really stings when I put it on this area. You can't really see it, but there is, there is difference in my skin there and in between this finger. I don't know why I get this rash in between my finger and right here all the time, like especially when I wash my hands too much. And sometimes it gets so bad. If I peel potatoes, oh my goodness, it's like my hand is on fire from the starch of the potatoes. Oh, look at guys, there's a train, a train, the train. There hasn't been as many trains going by. I think it's because, oh my gosh, now my hands are so slippery, I can't hold my pen. Ah! Liz, what did you do? There hasn't been as many trains going by because I think about Everything that's going on, they've cut back. But nope, there's one today. Choo 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 choo. Okay, sometimes when I do a checkered pattern, I mess up. I should really do a video this week about how to do checkered patterns. 
And this painting would be perfect to do that example. Hmm, decisions, decisions, because I haven't filmed Monday's video yet. Because I was going to do the storage one of how I store my leftover drills. I have shown it before when I first started my videos, but they're way down below when I was still my other identity. That's Lizzie Vapes. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I thought it was going to take longer for everybody to catch on to my new name, but it seems to have gotten out there quite fast and I'm quite impressed. Look at her nose. She just got a cute little nose, cute little nose over here. She's a cutie patootie. A cutie patootie. Why? Because I keep on messing up here. Oh boy. I'm running out of wax again, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. I think it's just because my hands are slippery. Because that was a bad idea. To lather up like that. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, I was going to Walmart. I have to go get the essentials. Tyler's eating me out of house and home. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that kid. I think he's got a hollow leg. Like the kid is so skinny and I don't know where he puts all his food. If I ate what he ate, I'd be a blimp. Freaking kid. And like, I don't know. My son has a very weird sense of humor. And he's like, yes, the other day at work, he's like, mom, we have to go to Walmart so I can buy skipping rope. I'm like, what the heck do you want a skipping rope for? Oh, well, I want to exercise. I'm like, yeah, okay, Tyler. He's like, I'm getting fat. I'm like, yeah, okay, Tyler. And then now he's always on when we go out that he needs this darn skipping rope. Just like before he left to BC, he would tell me every day that he was on a bowling league and he needed to go bowling and kept on asking me to go bowling. And yeah, but it's not real. It's not real. He doesn't really want to do it. He just does it to annoy me because that's what he does. Tyler also cries wolf. And one of these days it's going to backfire on him. Keep on telling him that all of the time. You never know when he's actually being serious or if he's joking around. I think the neighbors the other day probably were super mad at us because we left for work at like, I don't know, five, whatever, 10 after five or something. And the dog, the neighbor's dog started barking at the window. I'm like, oh, he probably just seriously woke them up and they're going to be super mad at us. They got this big, huge, I don't know what kind of dog that thing is, but it looks like a huge, gigantic poodle, but I don't think it is a poodle. I'm thinking maybe a Portuguese water dog, but I don't think Portuguese water dogs are white. I thought they were only black. Maybe they do come in white. I don't know what kind of dog this is, but he's huge. He's a massive, huge dog. And sometimes I think he's going to go right through that bay window when he barks at us. But yeah. DJ and Lola are sleeping. I haven't been eating very well, but yet she, she bakes for food, but she won't eat her kibble. She'll probably eat it today because she didn't eat it yesterday and she'll be hungry. That's what I seem to be finding with her. It's weird. 
Alyssa seems to think she's pregnant, but I don't know how she would have got pregnant because she won't leave the yard. And Gigi can get her pregnant, so I don't know. I got to get her fixed. That is my main priority for before the end of the year is to get Lola fixed. Yes, it is. They really need a haircut. I should do that today too and call and see if she's actually open. Because I don't even know if she is or not. I'm not sure if it's an essential business. I think it should be essential because your poor dog's going to look all like mutts by the time this is all over. So I don't know. I know her other part of her business probably isn't open because she does a boarding too. I gotta push the table back a little bit, people. My legs are starting to, to uh, fall asleep. But other than that, it's been a pretty slow week. I kind of want to save some of my talking for tomorrow. Because like I said, I'm going to do another, you know, catch up. Working on my Diamond Art Club. Which I can't wait for. I'm going to work on that one all day tomorrow. That is my goal. Wednesday, Thursday, I have to work. Ugh. But then I have the whole weekend off, so I probably will be kidding up a new project on the weekend for sure. I think so. I think I will be. I just don't know which one yet. I, yeah, I told you guys about who can be in the mail. I think I did that at the beginning of the video. I'm hoping my computer comes in soon that I bought but I don't see no hine or hair of it in an email. So I'm taking it that maybe no. <laughs> it's not coming anytime soon. I don't know. Maybe I should just tape the checkerboard before it to finish this one and then I'll have it, but I don't like to keep too many things on my phone. So I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh-oh. They're coming for me. They're coming to get me. So now I have to drive around with this paper in my car saying that I'm a central worker. Well, I don't know. I've never had one cop stop me while I've been driving around town. But whatever. But if you're caught driving anybody that isn't in your household to work... You get a 500, no, a $750 fine. Um, me and Tyler are okay because we both come from the same household. So we're okay to drive together. But I was told to grab that paper and keep it in my car in case the cops ask. I'm thinking it's probably more for people that work the night shift. I don't know. Nobody's bothered me or just pulled me over or done anything to me yet. And I've drove around with Tyler. And then the other day I took Alyssa to McDonald's just to get her out of the house and go in the car. Get some fresh air. Cause she's going a little stir crazy in here. Not that she can't go outside, she just chooses not to because she's lazy like that. But I think that's all I'm going to talk about. And this week's drill with me is probably not that long. 
but like I said, I'm going to do three this week. So, you know, I got to save some of my talking because my life's not that exciting right now. It's not peaches and roses. Oh, if you go on my Instagram, you'll see my, oh, oh or on my Facebook page. For all the new people that have started to watch me, I do have a Facebook page. It is linked down below in the description. It is called Diamond Painting Corner with Lizzie's World of Gems. Um, you can put your whips in there. You can ask questions. You can do whatever you want. I have amazing people in that group that would love to help anybody. And, uh, yeah, join the group. It would be exciting, exciting, exciting. And uh, I'm trying to advertise here, but I'm not doing a very good job. Oh, my Instagram. My Instagram is also down in the description below. I do post pictures of my diamond painting where you'll see the full picture of them as I go because I know in a whip and chat you're not seeing the whole picture but if you go on my Instagram later on today you'll probably see this one uploaded on my Instagram um sometimes you'll see sneak peeks of things that I'm doing on Instagram that you won't see technically on the channel um like my progress on something sometimes I'll I'll post like the finished product before I even make the video. So then you get a sneak peek, I guess you would call it. I don't know. But I do have a picture on my Facebook page and my Instagram of my beautiful granddaughter that I miss so dearly, you don't even know. I haven't been able to see her since February and she's growing up so fast and she's getting so beautiful. I love her to pieces and I can't wait till I can hold her. I keep on almost crying thinking that I'm not going to be able to see her. She's going to start walking before I get to see her again. I hope that is not the case. But sometimes we don't really have very much hope right now in the way the world is going. Honestly, I don't feel like I have any hope. So yeah, um, hopefully it doesn't take me too long to finish this so I can film um, the mystery diamond painting. Because I don't want to film it until I get rid of this. And I don't want to move it all and then bring it back. I just want to finish it so I can uh, do something else for the rest of the day. Because I worked on this one all day yesterday. But I did have a few breaks, you know. I fell asleep. I did have a power nap. I watched Church and Diamond Painted while I watched Church. That was interesting. <laughs> It's like, oh, I wish I could attend church every day like this and still be able to diamond paint. I don't know. But that was my eventful week, which wasn't very eventful. But you know what I mean. Nothing super crazy. Oh, I saw a guy yesterday and then Alyssa was laughing her head off, okay? I swear, and Tyler says he didn't see him because he was too busy on his phone. But when we left for work yesterday, when I got to the end of the street, I saw a guy dressed up as a ninja. I'm not kidding you. Everybody's laughing at me, but I swear he was a ninja. He had a backpack and he had like this, it kind of looked like a fake sword. I don't know, man. But it was like sticking out of the backpack. I don't know if he was aiming to rob somebody. His face was covered. And nobody believes me. So now I am paranoid at night. And I lock the doors. And people said that the other day when the hydro went out, kids went out with the purge masks on. And this is just freaking me out. The world has gone chaotic. 
and I'm too scared. Like I'm always like constantly locking the doors now because I don't trust anybody, man. Especially there's some there's some crazy people that live in this town. I'm not gonna lie. Not as bad as St. Thomas though. St. Thomas is super bad. Super bad in St. Thomas. And that's where that actor is filming that movie. Jason Madogo or I don't freaking know his name. <laughs> uh, Hefty Hefter is gonna yell at me. <laughs> she knows who I'm talking about. Uh, he's going to crazy town. Better hope he makes it out alive because I'm telling you that town is crazy. Honestly. But see, this is what happens when you're a small town girl and you venture out to the cities. You see things that you don't see in your town. And then you're like, those people are crazy. Like me in Toronto is like, it's, it's like, it wasn't too bad when I went to go see Rachel because I went to a nice, like all I went to was the mall and I didn't see anything at the mall. So it was fine that trip to Toronto because I didn't see nothing. But once I start seeing crazy stuff, which she probably did because she was down in the heart of downtown, I'm pretty sure, during her vacation there. I went, I went to, I stayed at a hotel way down in the downtown area once. Never again. That's all I got to say about that one. Never again. I'd rather stay in Mississauga and venture into the city if I have to. Mississauga is kind of like, we call it like a suburb of Toronto because it's so close to Toronto. But yeah. I think I'm going to finish this checkerboard and then I'll go. What do you guys think? Do you guys want to see me do that? And then all I have to do is fill it in. And then I'm going to film mystery diamond painting. Oh yeah. I'm going on a roll here. Not really, but I'll, I'll let you guys think I am. Oh, I'm starting to run out of wax, people. This is a trist, tr uh, trif, I can't even say it guys, I'm tongue tied today. And if you guys notice that I can't pronounce my words properly, yeah, that's true, I can't. Sometimes I mess things up. But you know what, that's what makes me unique. <laughs> and that's what I'm going with, okay guys? I think I have lack of sleep today. And not enough coffee. These are my best videos anyway, so go with it. Go with the flow. Go with the flow, people. I'm crazy town today. That's okay. That's okay. My eyes are like buggied. Oh my gosh, the other day at work, my throat was itchy. My nose was stuffy. And then they did sanitation on Good Friday. So on Saturday when we got to work, oh my gosh, my eyes were so bugging from the chemicals that I felt like my eyes were bulging out of my head, literally. I felt like I just wanted to scratch my eyeballs out. That's how bad it was. And my throat was hurting. And I was sneezing. I think I'm allergic to my work. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with, people. Okay, I know that I'm not doing this checkerboard very good. But, um, you know what? Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you want it to. That's my story. And of course, now they just want to stick to the darn stuff. 
and okay I am done for now then I'm gonna fill her all in and then I'm gonna take a picture and put it on Instagram so there you have it folks I hope you guys enjoyed my drill with me Tuesday yay we're back to drill with me Tuesdays I felt like I was missing it a lot maybe I'll do a tag hmm Maybe I'll do a tag for Wednesday, because I haven't done a tag in a while. So maybe I'll do a tag. So anyways, take care, everyone. Till next time. Bye. Be safe. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel, I Be Super Tickle Pink. And remember to hit that notification bell, and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And... Till next time, take care everyone. Bye.